What is up, familia? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new around these parts, hello. Hi, thank you so freaking much for clicking. I'm Anna, and on this channel, we budget plan and love us some sticky paper. So if that sounds like you, you already know. You already know what to do. And welcome back to my OGs. Love y'all hardcore. In today's video, we are doing another memory plan with me for the week of October 4th through the 10th. I finally got the dates y'all I like never know the dates but I finally got them they're super tiny on my screen right now so it might be wrong but it's fine it's fine don't tell me if it is anyways <laughs> in today's plan with me I am using the spooky pumpkin patch kit from scribble prints co and I decided to pair it with the twinkle copper bundle foil from caress press this actually was the foil that came with her I think it was august mystery whatever whatever mystery was the food and wine one um i picked up the overstock that hit the shop and then i also picked up the overstock of the foil that hit the shop and actually got two of the copper foil bundles because i thought they were so good so i thought that it would go perfect with this kit and like the coppery brown tones of it i know a lot of people mentioned that this kit is really dark which I'll say, like, I don't have a problem with dark colors. I tend to actually gravitate towards dark dark colors more than bright colors, which I know is probably a surprise to most of you who have seen my cash envelopes. Like, they're very, like, bright and vibrant. So I guess it depends on my mood, really. But I feel like in kits, I tend to, like, gravitate more towards dark colors. Even in clothes, I tend to gravitate more towards dark colors. I don't know why. I'm just dark. <laughs> apparently I'm just dark um truly I don't actually like being in a lot of light either so I think I'm just like a vampire really which would explain why I love Halloween so much so here we are you're just learning all the things about me today um but um I agree even for me it is very dark like especially once it's laid out so I did try to pull in like a lot of the like white character stickers like the coffee monster coffee monsters co of the world and the once more with loves and things like that and I think that helped a little bit um, but I still absolutely adore the art in this kit and I still adore the colors even though I do get that it is on the dark side um, I fell in love with it as soon as she uh, as soon as I saw it in her new releases video I was like girl <laughs> get in my cart get in my cart um, so I'm super excited to be kind of laying this one down. I did do this a little bit differently. I started from the bottom up. Usually I start from the top with the glitter headers and go down and I decided to try from the bottom up. Um, I feel like I need some getting, some getting used to. I did it cause I felt like, I don't know. I felt like my glitter headers would be straighter if I worked from the bottom up. Cause I'd have like, you know, I'd have the full box to go by or the bougie box to go by. I think I think they are straighter than what they normally are but I don't know I just decided to switch it up <laughs> I'm giving y'all way more information than you bargained for when you clicked on this video but here we are so I'm going to be kind of talking through some of the day by day I don't know if I'm gonna go sticker by sticker y'all because I always always fall behind but if I feel like I can get through it without falling behind I'll do sticker by sticker as well um because I do have I feel like I did some in well I don't know if I did interesting things or I just have interesting things to share um but for the base y'all I gotta tell y'all about my planner dilemma like grab your coffee because I need to tell you about my planner issue and I need y'all's help so for those of you who are brand spanking new to the channel I plan so this planner you see right now is a recollections vertical planner from Michaels and this one that I'm using is a January start so January 2021 through December it'll end in a couple months <laughs> it's fine it's fine um <laughs> it's fine and your girl has no idea what she's gonna do for 2022 because I was considering trying the Aura Stell, but I had decided against it. I was like, you know what, let's just do tried and true. It's an affordable option. For those of you who don't know, the Recollections is like, I don't know, like 29, I think it's 29.99 that it retails for and Michaels always has coupons. So I think when I bought this one, I, don't know, I paid like 20 bucks maybe maybe I feel like I might have paid less because they had like 
a coupon, but then I feel like they had a sale on top of that. Like it was wild. I got it ridiculously cheap. And those of you that live in the planner community know that these planners usually run 60, 70, $80, depending on the planner that you choose. Um, so like it's a steal <laughs> basically has the same functionality or the perfect fun functionality, at least that I need it for that any other planner would have. So I was like, yes. So I was like, I'm going to do this. It's like affordable. I already spend too much damn money on stickers as we all freaking know. There's a sticker haul coming by the way. Stay tuned for that. Um, <laughs> but I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. I decided. So then I was looking on their website and I noticed that it's not there. Like they don't have it there. And I'm like, what the heck? Like we're in like end of October. I, well, at that point it was like mid October, but still like you would think they'd be out by now. So I follow Craftsmith co who I believe I believe they're the ones that like make the planner and then sell it to Michaels if I'm not mistaken I'm not entirely sure so don't at me if that's not the case but I follow them and then I also think I follow, I follow Michaels and then I saw that they had made a post about the recollections planners that came out in July like for the academic year those are out in Michaels and all over the website but the 2022 ones are not so I was like okay so I was looking through there and I noticed that other people in, in the comments for that photo were asking the same thing. Like, oh, like, when is the 2022 coming out? Do you know when it's coming out? And of course, they don't answer the comments, which is truly so annoying to me, but it's fine. It's fine. They were like two weeks old, those comments. So I'm like, y'all, like, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> why don't you answer your comments? But it's fine. It's fine. Um, but another person not the company, another person commented and said that they heard on a Facebook group that they didn't actually get 2022 planners from Craftsmith Co. So now I'm like losing my ish, y'all, because like this was my go to like tried and true. I already know like the format. I know all of it. It's cheap. I can still do my thing and spend all this money on stickers. And now I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> I need to figure out another alternative if this is the case. Now, this is just a rumor, but the fact that they're not out yet does make me a little skeptical. Of course, they could come out like in the next couple weeks and all all of this worry could be for naught. But <laughs> I feel like I need to consider like seriously consider other options because if it doesn't come out, I need another planner. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. So my top two choices would be one the Sadie stickers planner I'd probably get the dated one I believe she has a dated and an undated I think I would get the dated one so there's that option I'm oh well I'm debating I might get the undated we'll see so I'm thinking Sadie stickers and then the other option is take the plunge and get an aura style which like <laughs> is so expensive but because you have to get like the cloud and then you have to get like the inserts and then of course I want to make it look cute so I got to get like the dashboards and the freaking blah 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 and all the things you need to so, sell <laughs> so there's that however I did start looking at the aura stills and I found the black one y'all and she is sexy oh she's sexy I'm sorry it's fine it's fine I'm sorry it's cool <sighs> so there's that um and then my third option which is really not one it's not really one I want to take is the Erin Condren life planner. <sighs> I still have a love hate relationship with EC because of everything that happened, yada, yada, yada. I do think they're making strides in the right direction, which I love. Um, and they just, I think they just released like a collection with a French artist of color, which was like, it's gorgeous. Like the covers are gorgeous. Um, so I do appreciate the strides that I think they're making towards being better, which is nice. Um, but like, I don't really want to go back to Erin Condren Life Planner. Like I'm fine with the monthly because I feel like it suits my needs the best in between that and Plum Paper. The monthly is what I use for budgeting, if you guys are wondering. Um, but I don't know that I want to go back to the life planner. So I don't think I'm going to go that route. So I'm considering Sadie stickers or an RSL. And I don't know which one I'm going to end up going with. I also need to make sure, like I need to rule out <laughs> that this recollections planner is not coming before I make either purchase. Because if it is coming, I'm probably going to go with that. Um, so that's my current dilemma. 
you guys can leave your thoughts down below. If you have a, St a Sadie Stickers planner, let me know how you like it. What type of planning do you do? Because um, I feel like Sadie Stickers shop caters more to like, more of like the dainty planner. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean? Not always, but I feel like a lot of her stuff does cater more to that. Even though I've seen some like, I don't know if it's $2 Tuesdays that she does that are like just overlays, um, like bottom washi overlays and header, header overlays that I've seen. And I swear, I keep looking on the site and I don't see them. So I must be missing them. <laughs> like some people had like bat overlays from her, I think. And I'm like, where, where is it? Did I just miss all this? Anyways, it's fine. Um, so if you do use a Sadie Stickers planner, what type of planning do you do? What kind of planner are you? Do you do some of both, which is cool too. Um, and I mean, I know a lot of people use the Aura style. So like <laughs> I've seen a lot of the videos with Aura style. So I feel like I'm pretty good with that. But if you have some things you think I should consider about it before making the plunge, let your girl know down below in the comments. So, all right, as you guys can see, I'm well into the day by day. So I'm a, I'm a summarize because we're not going to talk through stickers because I'm not going to get through all of this. Um, but as always, if you guys have questions on any of the stickers that you see, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will always get back to you on them. So let's see what even happened this week. <laughs> Let me grab my planner, y'all. Why am I unprepared? Okay, so I haven't gotten to Wednesday yet. I'm about to start Wednesday, but you guys, okay, I have to tell you the story because it's so great. And I marked it at the end of Wednesday. So my best friend moved to LA. Most of you, if you're friends to the channel, probably know that. He wants to pursue his dreams. He dances. He's hilarious. He's great. Um, so, <laughs> so he moved and he had been there at this point for, I don't know, maybe two weeks or so. And I was working because it's just a standard Wednesday for me. So I'm at work and he's FaceTiming me, which is strange because he knows I'm working. Um, so I'm like, all right, this, this has got to be important if he's FaceTiming me. So I'm like, let me just answer this because I wasn't with anyone. So I closed my office door, you guys. And you know how sometimes your cell phone volume is very high for no reason and you don't know until you play something? that's what happened. So all of a sudden, I answer the FaceTime call. I'm like going to close my office because of course I'm not expecting it to be so loud. And all I hear is girl, girl, girl. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, you're so loud. Stop talking. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like running to close my office door so I'm not disrupting the entire office and he's like hyperventilating like he can't even tell that I'm telling him to be quiet because he's like going crazy and I'm like what is wrong with you dude like what happened he's like I just saw Usher I just saw Usher I just saw Usher <laughs> like he just he's like he's tweaking he's tweaking y'all um and I'm like what do you mean you just saw Usher and I mean I should not have to tell y'all who Usher is like if I do if I do we need to reevaluate this relationship Usher Raymond so he's like I saw Usher he was like walking in he was like walking into his car in his car or something when I was going into like my dance class and I was like wait what like did you talk to him and he's, so he's freaking out and I'm like well I mean you're in LA and you're gonna run into them so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you and he's like yeah but Usher so yeah Usher is like his his boo like his everything like his life is Usher Pretty much Usher and Beyonce are his life. So he was like losing his mind. And it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny, y'all. I was like, oh my God, this is so loud. I'm disrupting my entire office. I'm gonna get fired. Like, listen, my whole life flashed before me. It was scary. However, super exciting that he saw Usher. So I had to mark that in my planner because it was hilarious and also crazy exciting. And if any of y'all live in L.A., like I think uh, Tay of Shantae Plans lives. She definitely lives in California. I don't know if she lives in or around L.A., but I remember in a plan with me, like I feel like a while ago now, she was talking about how it's just normal to see them and it doesn't even phase her anymore. And I'm like, yeah, my best friend is not there yet. <laughs> not there yet. Uh, maybe he'll get there, but he's definitely not there yet. So it was so funny. Um, okay. And then what else happened this week? We went, oh, I finally saw Cruella this week, you guys. Cruella was pretty good. Like surprisingly good. I'm not sure what I expected from it, but it was pretty good. And I heard that they're making a part two, maybe. I don't know. If you've seen Cruella, 
let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it. Um, but I thought it was pretty good. And then y'all, I got dragged <laughs> and dragged in the mud to this scream fest thing at one of like our local, like little amusement parks, which being such a Disney person now, I'm like, like, please, like, don't bring me to these amusement parks. Like, I've been to Disney. Like, this is all going to be underwhelming to me. Like, stop. Because I'm that snob. So, please. <laughs> um, our friends wanted to go. And, like, they were going to, like, pay for us. Which is very sweet, of course. But, like, it's not my thing. Like, I love Halloween. But I don't like being scared. Like, no. I like, like, dressing up. I like costumes. I like decor. Clearly, I like planner kits, but like, I don't want to be scared. Like, that's not my, that's not my jam. So, and my boyfriend knows this. <laughs> so I don't know why he thought it was a good idea, but he was like, come on, like, please. I'm like, fine. So we ended up going. It was like, so it ended up being just a fiasco in the sense that we didn't even meet up with our friends. Like a whole thing happened. It was a whole thing. Um, and we only really went to see like... <laughs> He was good about not making me like go in haunted houses and stuff, but we basically just ate and then we watched, they did like a stunt show with all of those crazy stunts where they like swallow a sword and stuff. It was wild. I'm just like, dude, like how? Um, and then we watched, they had a random like Bruno Mars tribute, like an artist basically covering his songs. And I thought it was amazing. I was like, oh my God. So that was fun. It was cute. Um, they had like dancers and stuff. It was cute. So it was a nice little night out, but it just felt like, I don't know. It just felt like weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Cause we didn't even like, we had a plan to meet up with our friends, but it didn't end up happening. So I mean, I, we had a great time and it was free. So I guess there's that. But yeah, so I got dragged to that, which was super fun. And that was really it, I feel like, as far as highlights of the week. I'm trying to think of what else. I marked many times in here that my neighbors were annoying me. But y'all, that's really a story for another day. So <laughs> anyways, y'all, um, I did want to mention, though, before I close out the video, that if you guys have topics that you want me to discuss or questions that you want me to answer you can leave them in the comments um because i'm always looking for things to talk about during these plan with me's and of course like tags are fun but i also do like to have honest conversations on the channel when i can just because i think that that's how we grow so as human beings um so yeah, so if you guys have anything that you want me to discuss or chat about, let me know in the comments. You can always DM me if you want to just, you don't necessarily want to put it in the comments or you just want to tell me and I will just talk about it and I won't share where the topic came from or anything um, if you don't want me to. So I just wanted to open that door basically. But anyways, here I am just putting some of these little twinkle bits up top to add a little more of that copper foil goodness just because, see, I feel like the camera is picking it up pretty good right now because of where my planner is, but I feel like throughout the plan with me, it really didn't. So I was like, all right, let's put some up here so we can get some more of this copper foil goodness and actually have it show up on camera. So that is what I'm doing there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the spread. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Share it with a friend who also loves planning and sticky paper for your girl. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much for watching y'all. Be sure to subscribe down below and tap the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content and I will see y'all real real soon bye <music>